so so bhuneshwar are you in any circumstances be it covid or not covid retention of your best and talented and high performers is a given today's stress on survival do out we others but organizations with very strong processes will be in a position to handle this better than the others and more effectively one has to make itself useful in the new context in the current covid situation it's all about survival revival and thriving organization may be faced with the predicament of taking tough calls and decisions but organizations which are resilient will be in a position to back to bounce back to and you know they they will go through and sail through the situation with much more ease than others while she talked about measures to be taken of for hotel opening and what needs to be done with more credibility and assurance staff needs to be well trained organizations will have to look at different business propositions in light of the fact that today top lines are totally you know uh, wiped out and the traditional method of gaining your revenues which is basically rooms and beverages in the rich is seeing no growth in fact it's it's a it's a massive problem so we have to look at new options new opportunities new ways to do business uh, some of the new ways which people are doing currently is looking at home deliveries which is something very different uh, other at ancillary businesses like you know spa and that part of the business which earlier was not the central focus my advice to the purchase finish fraternity is over the last 2 3 decades we've seen you know not exactly the same but we've seen some very major catastrophes which have affected our business if you go back uh, in the year 2002 we had wtc and the industry went through a turmoil but we bounced back then we had the mumbai attacks about 10 years back uh, and going along with it was the global slowdown around the same time and we bounced back so there may be immediate un uh, uncertainties importantly if you keep value to your organizations associates employees can be rest assured that this fright or this fear of job losses may not be as it seems so so that that's what i feel on this front uh, exactly i agree with what you say because these are now just not things which will be on paper they will actually be uh, you know kind of audited so it's imperative that when we talk about vendors uh, capabilities what kind of infrastructures he has and his understanding of this entire you know uh, sanitization and uh, you know maintaining sops and maintaining checklists these things will become realities and if they are not followed then probably they would go out of business you're right because correct today health sanitization is become an imperative we also talk about people doing self checks you know so vendor before his man enters the premises he does his vendor people do self checks basically are they feeling good have they sneezed today have they not sneezed today temperature so see these are some of the things they are which which is beginning to you know come into our routine day to day operations having said that processes i don't think could be formalized this quickly they are involved they are evolving as a well. that's my understanding i when the consolidation is important i somehow uh, major sub mentioned something about you know going on consolidation to it to multiple vendors but i think in today's world i think it's consolidation which will be the key so you don't want to have too many people entering your entering your premises uh, major sub you could probably clarify that Correct. I think training is going to be a very very important part of you know vendor uh, and uh, vendor vendor engagements and vendor development. Is prime important, but the uh, work from work concept uh, is something uh, which is uh, which was never considered for uh, you know hotel operations. We also always consider that you know ours is a brick and mortar uh, you know kind of organization where your guest is sitting, your customer sitting right under your nose, so you got to be there in the premises. but uh, i mean come covid and today most of our people sit at home and they are they are operating so however they, there are challenges operating from home also so because i think you know i think very clear cut guideline need to be implemented in place uh, because today if, if i mean you you will be noticing it yourself and the rest of the colleagues also there is no fixed work timings you know work happens throughout the day irrespective of the day including the weekends so certain guidelines need to be put in place uh i think the other challenge is you know is meeting uh, vendors face to face uh, in the in the initial years it was considered imper imperative not initial years but before covid it was considered to be an imperative but i think uh, you know technology has now played a large role in terms of kind of addressing that issue so this is uh, also a new normal because the technology is going to become a, become a very very important and uh, integral part of our operations 
I think we are going to see more and more consolidation of activities, shared services wherever possible. You know, if you have multiple hotels in a city, shared services is going to be uh, one opportunity. Uh, using e-tools is going to be something which is also a, a you know going to be an opportunity. So I would say these are the new normals in procurement which are going to happen in the times to come ahead.